In this video, we're going to provide the solution to question number seven from practice exam number two for math 1210. We're given a piecewise function f of x, which when x is less than zero, it'll behave like cosine of x. When x is exactly zero, it'll just be zero itself. When x is between zero and two, where we actually do include two in this interval, it'll behave like the parabola x squared plus one. And when x is strictly larger than two, it behaves like x minus four, where again, and when it's, when it's equal to two, uh, it'll behave like the parabola right here. We want to find the limit as x approaches zero from the left of f of x here. As this is a piecewise function, if we want to compute the limit, it's a, con it's a continuous piecewise, uh, I should say a piecewise continuous function. It's made up of four continuous functions, although there could be discontinuities at, at the switching numbers for which zero is one of those switching numbers. So that's significant here. We want to approach the function from the left. So if we're a little bit to the left of zero, that puts us in the domain x is less than zero. So our limit here, the limit will, as x approaches zero from the left of f of x, will be identical to the limit of cosine of x when x is approaching zero from the left. Now cosine is a continuous function, so to evaluate the limit, we can just evaluate the function. So we get cosine of zero, which as we know from trigonometry, cosine of zero is equal to one. And therefore the correct answer here is D.